Now we're gonna make fillers. Fillers are basically just your five inch balloon dupes um, tied together. So like I said in the tools video, which was part one, that you don't have to have your 260s the same color as your balloons. It helps, but it's not necessary. Because if you're assembling your balloon correctly, then you won't see the 260 at all. So one thing I like to do when I'm doing my fillers and using 260s is I like to cut off the tip, the closed tip of the 260, so that way air can release out of this on both ends. And then we stretch it as much as we can. Then we're going to tie one end of the 260 around your dupe. So just loop it around once and then tie it like a shoelace. Um, I would say I like to do three ties just to be on the safe side. Okay, so now we have one dupe on one side. Then on the other side, on the other side, we're going to make a quad. So like we did before, we have our two dupes, twist them together, and now we have a quad. So on the other end, I call this dumbbell method for fillers. So on the other end, we're going to tie our uh, quad on this end that has no balloons. And still just loop around one balloon in the middle and then tie it down to Tie it down three times for good measure. So then, to me, it looks like a dumbbell. And so when we add this to our base um, in the next video, then uh, you'll see why stretching this out comes in handy. So for our other color, we are going to do, let's see, we'll just do a dark blue. I like to buy the variety <laughs> 260, like the assorted bag. Because one, they seem to be cheaper, and two, they, um, yeah, they're just always available. So, we're going to do this dumbbell. This time is going to be just two dupes. So, we're going to tie this around. Okay. So, you can have dumbbells in any variety. You kind of just want to eyeball it see how see what you think you're gonna have holes of and then even if you just do this even if you just do this two dupes on each end you can always add another dupe another dupe to make a quad so if I have these two dupes like this I could leave it like this if I want to or I can just take and still do our quad and just only twist like that and still I would still have the same thing. So that's up to you. Then on this next color, I will show you another way to add fillers is you can make a, another way to make your fillers, you still cut off the end and stretch it out. But what you can also do is cut your 260 in half. Okay, so if you cut your 260 in half, obviously there's not as much tension, there's not as much give, but if you have a smaller hole where you don't need to stretch your fillers out so far, then you can do that. Okay, so you can do that. Or, the other thing you can do is, remember how we had that big cluster of six? You can, oh, well, let me finish this. So you can do that and then still tie two pairs, you know, if you're running out of 260s. This is a good way to save on the number of 260s without having to buy another bag. So then you have a smaller dumbbell, but still you would still get it around the balloon like you need to. Then the other thing you can do is if you have this big cluster like this and you don't want to do a dumbbell method, you still cut off the tip 
you can cut do the cutoff tip thing beforehand, so then that way your whole bag is just all cut, you know, two sixties. Um, but you can do this. So you're gonna stretch it out like you can. Find the middle point of this. We're gonna put that middle point in between, wrap it around like two balloons, and then you just make a little, I don't know if you can see this, make a little knot at the end, like you're tying a shoe again, but make sure it stays at the end. So you're basically doing like a closed off loop. And so this is another way, or now you have this and you can just slip this over one balloon, which I'll also show you guys. So that's another way to make fillers. So now that we have all of our fillers, all of our um, base inflated, and then we'll add the fillers in.